What's up guys, Baker here. Uh, sorry if I sound different, I'm using my laptop because I recently upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM and I like it, so I'm just going to record a tutorial on this real quick. Um, today I have some efficient Twixter syncing, and the reason why it's efficient is because if you mess up or you want to change something later, it actually saves a lot of time, and um, I just think it's a very nice method to syncing with Twixter. My last tutorial on Twixter was terrible, so here we go. So I'm gonna just show you a quick RAM preview of what I got. And that's about it. Okay, so let's go over some uh, pretty good tips. Let's see, so we're gonna have a main comp, so we'll make a new composition, main comp, make it pretty long with your song and everything, like oh, three minutes. And then, you always want to take your clip and pre-compose it. So I have a clip here, pre-compose into this button. So what we can do here is scale up the layer to 101 to get rid of the black edges. Um, another problem with Twixter is if you Twixter near the end, you run out of clip. So some people want time remapping, but I don't like to do that because that's, again, that's a time function on top of a time function. So just go into this pre-comp and extend the comp length, I'm just going to make it 20 seconds, twice as long. That way if we Twixter, it'll just stay Twixter. Another thing is, um, if you ever get the black warping edges, especially if your clip is moving a lot, there is a sweet little trick, I have a separate tutorial on it, but we're going to uh, go ahead and go into this and multiply by 1.25, lock aspect ratio, okay. Stretches our comp, and we'll go to our effects and presets once it loads, and type in some motion tile. Stylize motion tile, bring that on. Make the output 125, 125, and mirror the edges. Now it looks weird, but um, it'll reduce any warping at all. Another quick uh, reason why pre-composing is good is because you can do motion tracking in here and then you do the twixter syncing in your main comp and uh... the tracking will be you know synced as well so the main thing here is let's say you have a song let me just um... copy this song over here oh, i'm gonna have to resync it and everything okay anyways so you're probably gonna want to have markers but i don't have um, markers in this case so, actually, this is not the pre-comp. The pre-comp is... Where is it? Oh, this is the pre-comp. What the hell? Sorry. Go into the main comp, bring out your song. There we go. Okay, sorry. So your song, coming out. Zooming in here. So we get the beat and stuff. So you're going to import your own gunshots. So let me just... um. You know what? Give me one second. I'm just gonna copy all these. Copy, main comp, delete, paste, zoom out. Oh, what the hell? oh yeah. Okay. So I have my song and my gunshots already lined up. I'm sure you can do that yourself. So what I want to do is take the clip and sync it to the gunshots. So here's my method, my secret method. So if we can find our clip, there we go. So you want to go whenever he shoots the bullet, exactly. So I'll go frame by frame. He shoots. Coming up somewhere. Right about here. Let's see. And. Taking forever. I'm sorry. Boom, right there. So you take your clip and split it. Command Shift D or Control Shift D. We just move forward to the next gunshot, somewhere around here, go back a few frames, right about there, split, move forward, and right here, split, move forward, and shoots again, right about there, split, and don't think there's one more, right there, and split. Alright, so what we're going to do, let's see if I can make some room here. First gunshot, if you hold shift while you're dragging your time indicator, it'll snap 
right to that perfectly. Now here's the beginning part, here's the first kill. So if we want to line it up, all we do is hit begin bracket. There you go. Now we'll go to the second kill, hold shift and it snaps. Got the second gunshot, take the second kill, bracket. Third kill, hold shift, click the third kill, bracket. Fourth kill, hold shift, fourth kill, bracket. Fifth kill, hold shift, fifth kill, bracket. Alright, so all the gunshots are lined up. Now if you look, part of it's overlapping, so it'll kind of just cut and jump. If we want this to make it look uh, fluid, we're going to add some Twixter. So that this is the whole sinking part. Now, I don't have it in this example, but if your clip is too short, let's say it's like this long, and the next uh, gunshot is back here, you're going to add some Twixter and slow it down, and all you do is just drag this out to slow it down so that it'll look fluid. Anyways, so what I'll do is take some Twixter, and I'll put it on the first kill. So he shoots it. Let me fix the frame rate. Okay. So what you can do, the main thing here is we snapped all the kills, all the shots to the uh, gun sounds. Now what you can do is sync whatever you want in between each kill, and it won't mess up the other kills. So you can do whatever we want. So when this... Um, plus 100 comes up, I'm going to keyframe the speed I'm going to go kind of in the middle keyframe it down to let's say like 5 let's see push U so we can see it and then go to the frame right before the next kill so here's that frame, go to the frame before and just play with the speed until it shows like he's about to shoot right there yeah. So if I do a quick RAM preview, you'll see that it does look fluid, like it's one single clip. And uh, sorry it's kind of taking long, but um, this is the best method that I've found so far. Splitting it and snapping it. So yeah, that did look pretty good. So I can just do the same thing real quick for the second clip. Um, frame rates, boom. And I'll go to when the plus 200 comes up. Keyframe it. Another thing I've done is um, one frame over. Set it down to one. And then I just go to the very end. No middle keyframe this time. Go to the frame before. And just drag this up. So it looks like he shoots right about there. Another quick RAM preview for you guys. Um don't know what else to share this is the whole again this is the whole secret that I just mentioned splitting and snapping not too bad um that's about it that's kinda all I wanted to show you um boom yeah so those are all the tricks to also get smooth twixter use like um the edges thing, use 59.94, use like 1% speed, your Twixter will look pretty sexy. Also, if it gets a little warp, you just add some real smart motion blur on top of that, and it'll look even more smooth. Alright, um, if you have any other questions, I know it was probably a long tutorial, but um, this should be pretty helpful for the people that want to sync with Twixter. This, this is the be best method. So... Yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead, feel, feel free to ask, leave comments, like me on Facebook, talk on there, make sure to like the video, maybe a favorite would be nice, and that's about it, guys. Peace, have fun.